Welcome to The Shed. I'm Sid, Mackie's on the camera, and today we're going to be learning how to install rim tape on a tubeless wheel. <laughs> For this task, you're going to need rim tape, electrical tape, scissors, valve core remover, valve stem, valve core, a tire lever, something sharp and pokey, a wheel that does not have rim tape, the tire that you want to put on, the sealant of your choice, and an air compressor or a pump. <laughs> <laughs> I did not mean to do that. I thought it was gonna go out of my head. Why are you taping a rim? Why would you tape a rim? This one doesn't have any rim tape on it. <laughs> Are you looking for like a more nuanced answer than that? <laughs> There's holes. Holes. Basically, when somebody says that a wheel is tubeless ready, that usually just means it comes with rim tape. And eventually over time, something will happen. Maybe you get a flat, maybe you ride this three quarters of the way down a mountain on a flat, <laughs> which Matthew might, might have done. Yeah. And then you're gonna wreck the rim tape that came on it. So you're going to need to re-tape the wheel. What does the rim tape do? Spokes are just like screwed into the wheel. So basically to install your spokes, you have to drop the spoke nipples through these <laughs> holes. Spoke nipples. <laughs> and then those attach to the spoke. Then you have holes, which makes tubeless hard. So let's just for comparison look at a brand new wheel. This is the same wheel. This has not been used. As you can see, it does not have visible holes. That's because there's rim tape on it. And this is obviously done in the factory. It's done super, super well. And that's what we're gonna try to replicate today. We're gonna put this on the truing stand because it's gonna be a lot easier to film and show you what we're doing. You definitely do not need a truing stand to rim tape. But we rim tape out of our van all the time. Yeah, no, you just need hands and patience. <laughs> wow, this is like really tall. It's a good thing I'm like six feet tall because otherwise <laughs> I can see the top. <laughs> Truing wheels will be like episode 3000 because we're like nowhere near being able to do that. More coffee. Now what? <laughs> you want to make sure your wheel is extremely clean and extremely dry. That's true. That's usually where I go wrong is I get impatient. I try to tape it and then it's like wet or has um, sealant still stuck on it and that just doesn't, doesn't we work as well. We cleaned this wheel extremely well and then let it hang to dry for like multiple days. You don't have to do that, but if you have the time to, it sure makes your life easier. All right, where are you gonna start with your rim tape? Oh, this is a trick question. I know there's a rule. <laughs> Something to do with the valve, like opposite the valve. Yes, correct. It's the valve. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna get it in there. I'm gonna give it a little push to start. I will say, I don't think I've actually ever done this successfully before, so maybe, I actually don't really listen to Mackie's advice, guys. <laughs> maybe this time will be different. I know that it's like really important to just be like pushing down the sides all the time. While Sid's taping, I want to talk to you guys about rim tape. We've actually tried using all sorts of different tape as rim tape. We've used duct tape, electrical tape, gorilla tape, even hockey tape. And there's a reason that we use a combo of rim tape and electrical tape. Let's talk about each one. Duct tape is great because it's cheap, easy to find, and pretty easy to apply. Unfortunately, because it's so stretchy, over time, the air pressure in the tire will push the duct tape through the spoke holes and the tape will eventually burst. So your tire will go flat and you'll have to redo the rim tape. Electrical tape, same thing, cheap, easy to find, but also so stretchy that it will eventually burst. Gorilla tape is great. It's strong, it's flexible, it's easy to apply. The downsides are that it's pretty expensive, fairly heavy, and leaves a really sticky residue on your tire when you're changing rim tape. So that's why rim tape is really good. But as you can see here, it's really hard to like get all the bubbles out and to have it be like a perfectly smooth, yeah, what do you think? Tape. Am I doing a good enough job or is this well, never Well, that's work? where the electrical tape comes in. How far past do I go? Only a couple inches. So like there? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it. If there's space underneath the two layers of rim tape, air will get underneath it and then you are in big trouble. So you just wanna make sure that that intersection is really nicely sealed. But once again, that's something the electrical tape will help with. 
Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is do a layer of electrical tape. It doesn't add much extra weight and it adds a lot of security in your rim tape job. So unless you are racing World Cup cross country and have someone else retaping your rims before every race, we really recommend the electrical tape. 1.510 kilograms. It's not wide enough to cover the whole rim. So, so do we gonna, do two? You're, yeah, you're gonna start on one side and you're gonna do a really nice layer, and then as you overlap... You Should I go the same direction? Uh, it matter, yeah, it. but it doesn't really matter. One thing I found that works really nicely with electrical tape, because it is stretchy, is pull like maybe six or eight inches of electrical tape out. Okay. Yeah, and now just push it straight down on the rim. And then you really just have to kind of guide it into place. Now you just sort of stretch it and work your way. You know, so stretch it and be okay that it's gonna, like go ahead and pull six inches. Yeah. Okay. And now, yeah, there you go. Uh, and then on the next one, you just And the next one, you just farther. end a little okay. bit farther. Once again, the weight weenies would be terrified, but I want my wheels to work well. All right, cut it right there. And then just flatten that end part. That's really important that that's nice and flat. Now that looks good. Here, let me give you a rag. I found a rag to like rub it down works really nicely. All right, let's see how you did. That looks pretty darn nice. Obviously you can see the bubbles from the rim tape underneath it. But that's what's so great about using the electrical tape is it creates a nice seal on top of that. 20 grams. 20 grams. So if you're worried about 20 grams, skip the electrical tape. This is where the pokey thing comes in handy. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Seriously? Did you miss the hole? Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. Does that ruin the whole thing? Are you kidding? <laughs> If you hadn't made me stop there to film it, I was right over the hole. I think I can get it in from there. It's not as off as I thought it was. Oh! Oh, are you okay? Yeah, I'm bleeding, but I'm fine. It's fine. It's fine. Don't let anyone distract you while you're trying to poke your hole. That's good enough, right? We'll find out. Let me try to pump it up. Alright, get that little rubber widget on there. Screw on your thingamabob. These things have names. So then we're gonna figure out which way the tire goes. <laughs> we always take the valve core out because then more air goes in at once. Which increases your chances of seating. So I've done nothing to this, like none of our usual tricks and things, so we should see. World's most satisfying ones. <laughs> and your little sealant dance. Why do you do the sealant dance? Because it's so frustrating setting up a tubeless tire that you deserve to <laughs> dance. <laughs> <laughs> you do it so that you can have the sealant everywhere as opposed to sitting in the bottom. How to install rim tape in one minute. Start with a clean, dry, untaped wheel. Starting opposite the valve core, apply one layer of rim tape, carefully smoothing as you go. Overlap by three inches. Cut rim tape and flatten the end fully. Apply electrical tape. If the tape is narrower than your rim, continue until rim tape is fully covered. Smooth with a rag. Poke a hole for your valve stem. Insert valve stem and tighten. Install the tire with sealant and inflate. Dang, world's most satisfying.